the final pass criteria asks you to explain how strengths and weaknesses interrelate with external macro factors. So we've really got a, a combination of things here. You need to consider the strengths and the weaknesses you have identified and, and now look at these in the context of the macroeconomic factors that you identified under Learning Outcome 3. So take the, the two organisations that you have introduced in Learning Outcome 5 and now explain how you think that the strengths and the weaknesses you have described might be influenced by the external macro factors. So are the strengths you have identified made stronger or is their impact perhaps weakened by political, economic, social, technological, legal and environmental factors? Are the weaknesses made more apparent or are they to some extent mitigated by these macro factors? For example, an organisation uh, may be struggling to remain price competitive because a weak pound is making raw materials relatively more expensive. Or a hotel uh, may be forced to increase its room rate, thereby putting it at a competitive disadvantage because they've been forced to increase the minimum wage paid to some of their cleaning and other staff. Or a company may be perhaps taking advantage of new technologies to give themselves a competitive edge. You could think again here about a business's size and type. A sole trader or other small business uh, may find it more easy to adapt when external circumstances change to put them at a disadvantage. But uh, conversely, they may not have the financial resources of a larger organisation to work through a short-term decline in business or to invest in a change of direction. Also, are there some internal strengths and weaknesses which are completely or at least partially independent of the macro environment. For example, an organisation which has a, a charismatic and effective leader will still have a charismatic and effective leader in times of economic and political uncertainty.